Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Friday, August 4th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. The potential use of artificial intelligence in TV and movies has become a hot-button issue in the biggest Hollywood labor strike in 60 years. Both writers and actors have raised concerns about AI, including that it could be used to replace them. Studios say those fears are overblown, and AI won't be penning scripts anytime soon. But they are actively exploring new applications for this technology. So when dealing with AI in Hollywood, how much is the right amount to use? Amal Sharma is the Wall Street Journal's media and entertainment editor, and he joins me now. Amal, AI is already being used in Hollywood. Remind us how. Yeah, there's some limited uses at this point in things like translation, captioning, and there are certainly producers experimenting with it already. You know, what kind of writing could it do, et cetera. But it's definitely very early days, and it's not yet being used in the mainstream of movie making. It's also used to make people look older or younger, aging or de-aging. That technology exists, and AI can do a better job in some ways than doing that more manually. What are the areas where the studios would like to expand the use of AI? So there's many. Several entertainment executives that we've spoken to have said you could use AI to do things like storyboarding. This is when you take a series of graphics to lay out how a story would be told, and it can be sort of labor-intensive, but you could have AI do a lot of that work. AI could be involved in set design. I want a train station that looks like it's from, you know, the 1900s. What would it look like? And get 10 or 12 things rendered that you could look at for designs. Dubbing in foreign languages. You could have Matt Damon talking in German and Italian and French just with the snap of a finger from AI, and it would move his lips like it looks like he's speaking German or Italian or French. So those are some of the more production side areas where studios are excited about the technology. Are they taking any steps to make that a reality? Right now, all the companies, the way to frame it is to just think about it as they're experimenting, they're talking to all the major AI platforms and startups that are involved with this technology, companies like Runway, Stability AI. There are a few big known players now that are pursuing this, and they're talking to all of these companies and playing around with it. It's not yet at the stage where they're building it into their movie production process. The unions representing actors and writers, is there some acknowledgement amongst them that AI is going to be used in the future and maybe some consideration of, of how it would be acceptable to them for it to be used? Yeah, most writers and actors understand they're not going to stand in the way of technology somehow being woven into their lives and into the entertainment business. It's about where you draw the line. For a lot of the talent, their fears go to the worst places, right? They're thinking that Bots are going to be writing entire hour-long dramas, TV scripts and movie scripts and replacing those jobs, or they will just be editing a first draft that was written by a bot and things like that, which when you talk to the movie and TV executives, they say that's really far-fetched and that's not going to happen. Uh, At least that's nowhere near in sight right now. Do we know what the writers and actors think is the right amount of AI to be used? Not yet. I suppose everyone looks at it through their own lens, like how it affects themselves. So if you're a writer, it's like, well, I know AI needs to be used, but I just don't want it to be creating the script, you know. And actors are very worried about their digital likeness, owning it, as they should. So make sure that there's not a replica of themselves digitally going around doing jobs around Hollywood when they're not. But they can see how they could be affected. I brought up examples to talent when I was talking to folks like, how do you feel about the foreign language dubbing or the production stuff? People are concerned about their colleagues' jobs. I mean, they understand that could affect a lot of jobs. But also they understand, well, some of that is going to happen and maybe AI has a role in the production process. I guess what I'm saying is it's hard for people to conceptualize how it would hurt other areas of the business that they don't directly work in. So maybe it's okay to a certain degree, and they have a more acute understanding of how it it would affect their own job. The writers and actors' strikes have been going on for a few weeks now. Can you give us an update on where things stand with negotiations? All signs point to it being pretty bleak right now. The two sides aren't talking. And so there's a bit of a game of chicken of who's going to come back to the table or feel enough pressure and pain financially from this situation 
to feel like they have to come back. That was our media and entertainment editor, Amal Sharma. And that's it for Tech News Briefing this week. TNB's producer is Julie Chang. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy, and our executive producer is Chris Sinsley. I'm your host, Zoe Thomas. Thanks for listening, and have a great weekend. Thank you.